subtracted your debt. I took away your debt, didn't I? I went over and I said, oh, I'm taking that debt away. I subtracted the money that you owed. It's like I gave you money. So if I subtracted the debt of $10, it's like I gave you 10 bucks. I just paid it for you. That, that means that we can change minus a negative into just a plus sign. Subtracting the debt is like I'm giving you the money. It's like I'm adding it to your account. That's basically what we're doing here. So you have two cases. Just straight minuses change into plus negatives. Minus a negative changes into just straight plus. Uh, one way I like to remember this is you are never going to go from one sign to one sign or two signs to two signs. It's always either one sign to two signs or two to one. You're always changing the number of signs somehow. Does that make sense to you? So notice what I'm talking about. One sign to two signs or two signs to one sign. That's what you're doing here. You never go two to two. You never go one to one. And we're going to practice this a lot today because that's basically all we're doing. Uh, so let's go ahead and give us a try. I think we've already done a couple examples, but it'd be nice to revisit those. Uh, the first one we did was the 12 minus 17. That was, that's this case, and we're going to see how that works for us. And 5 minus negative 6. That's this case, and so you have an example for each case. Now, in the first case, 12 minus 17. We don't really want to invent new rules for subtraction. That's going to be way too much work. And so this was where the whole idea came from. We're going to change subtraction, the minus, into a plus in using one of these two cases. So since it falls under here, I know instead of 12 minus 17, what I can write is change this one sign into two signs. The only thing we have to do is make it 12 instead of minus. I know that's equivalent to adding the negative version or the opposite of that number. That's this. That's this thing right here. So instead of subtraction, we're adding the negative. Are you okay with that? You still with me? Do you, do you believe me that subtraction is the same thing as adding the negative? Are you starting to see that? Yeah. It's like taking away money or adding a debt. That's the same principle. I either take it directly from you or you put it on a credit card and it comes away from you at some point. It's the same idea. Either way, you're taking away money. So here, we're adding the negative or adding the opposite of that number. And now we get to use addition rules. This is the whole principle right here. To use those addition rules that we just learned. So we have different signs. We're going to what now? Subtract. Great. Yeah. How much do we get when we subtract? Five, negative. We get the, the number five, but then you got to determine whether it's positive or negative. So I know the five, and is this negative or positive? Negative. Why negative? negative. Very good. That's exactly right. Now the next one, we have our second case up here. Notice the difference in the way these problems look. One's just a single minus. One's subtracting a negative. This one's like taking away your debt. It's like I'm giving you the money. And we know that anytime we see a minus and a negative, we're not going to change this into two signs. We're going to change this into one sign. We're going to do five instead of minus a negative. Uh, you, you probably you might have seen this before if you've ever been through this type of material. Um, the idea that you can make a plus sign out of this. Some people like to show this little graphic. Right? They like to show that. You should move it over and make a plus. And that's, that's one way to kind of remember that. Mathematically, what we're doing is we're taking away a debt. It's like adding money. We know that a negative, uh, subtracting a negative, is equivalent to just adding. Do you want to change both sides? We're making those two signs into one sign. Okay. And then, hey, now we get just basic addition, right? Use those addition rules. They're both positive, same sign. We add them together, keep the common sign, we get 11. Those are the two cases that we have. That's it. That's it for subtraction. They're either going to look like this one or that one. There's no other cases. Anything else would have addition to it already, and then you don't have to change it at all. Isn't that kind of nice? Yeah. If it has addition, don't change it. If it has subtraction, Change it using these two cases. And we're going to practice that a lot today right now. Are you ready to start practicing this stuff? Yeah. I hope you're ready. You brought your practicing shoes, right? You're wearing the right shoes? Your math practicing shoes? Nope. You're not? That's my Seriously? Oh, you should go get them. You can't do math without the right shoes. Has anyone told you that before? I'll try. I think he's got it. I'm just kidding. That was a joke. <laughs> Okay, let's let's keep going on this stuff here. Can you read that out loud for me? Negative three minus eight.
Perfect. So notice how we said, we didn't say minus three, right? We said negative three. We're not gonna change anything that says negative. We're, we're, what we really are looking for is the thing that says minus. That's what we need to change. So when we read this, we go, negative three. Do I need to change the negative three? Nah, I don't care about that one. That's great, that's, that's fine for me. What I care about is this right here, these ones. When so you have the, change both of them? We're gonna make those two into one. Okay. Two signs go to one sign, or one sign goes to two signs. That's the two cases we have. So in our case, we go, okay, negative three, let's leave it. Now, can you tell me, look at Why did they leave the negative three? Why do we leave the negative three? Well, because it's just a signed number. There's nothing really we can change it to. Uh, there's not another sign in front of it that we can manipulate. We could change it to plus a negative, but we're not adding it to anything. So it's just gonna go back to the same thing over and over. You could change it, but it would automatically change back right after. So that's a good question. I want you to tell me what case we're in. We'll call this one case number one. We'll call this one case number two. What does this problem look more like? Does it look more like case number one or more like case number two? Number two. Definitely number two, because we're subtracting a negative. You all see that, right? Yeah. And whenever we see that, we're going to change those two signs into one sign. What sign does it change to? Plus. 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 Very good. So instead of negative three minus negative eight, it's like I'm taking away your debt. That's like I'm giving you money. That's all you have to do. Two signs become one sign. Now can we keep going? Sweet. Yeah. Now we got addition rule. I mean, this is like a problem we did um, yesterday or the day before. We've been working on this for a couple days now. So we've got addition rule. These are different signs. We will subtract. Great. Keep the sign of the. Okay. So when we do this, how much are we going to get? I don't know. That's it. We're done. Let's do one more together, and then I'm going to give you several to do on your own. I want to make sure that you're really getting this. So we're going to read this in our head. We're going to kind of think about it. If you read this in your head, in your head right now it should say negative 7 minus 2. Is that what it's saying in your head right now? Yeah. Are we going to change the negative? No. We're going to change the minus? Yeah. yeah, anytime you say minus, you have to change that so to basically, use. Basically, anytime there's the same signs together, you're going to change it, or? Anytime you have two, a minus and a negative together, you won't ever have a positive and a positive together. That's not going to happen. Okay, but anytime you have a minus and a negative, you're going to change that. Anytime you hear the word minus, you're going to change that somehow. So here where we say negative 7 minus 2, right there in your head, you say, oh, that's a minus. I need to change that in order to use the addition rules. Yeah? No? Okay. Now, can you tell me which case we're more likely to be in? Case number one or the case number two? Two. Let's look carefully. Let's look carefully. Does this look exactly like the last problem we did? No. No. It's close. It's got a negative here, just like this one does. But this one had minus a negative. This one just has the minus. Does that make things different for us? Yeah. yeah, it does. Here we had minus a negative, we made that a plus. Here we have just a minus, we make it a plus, a negative. So in our case, are, are we going to change negative 7? The answer is no. We're not going to change that one. But we are going to change that minus. Now we just talked about this, but you can't just change it to a plus. That doesn't work. You can't just change minuses to pluses. It either takes two signs to make one sign, or out of one sign, you make it into two signs. Does that make sense to you? Plus a negative? Plus a, yeah, you also need a negative there. Are you seeing what I mean about changing two signs to one sign or one no. sign to two signs? Why are you making a negative? Because if you did this, to answer this question, is this the same? Do the same thing? 9 and 15, no? So they're not the same? No. Okay. So what that means to me is that I can't just go about changing minuses to pluses. I can't do that. Okay. Because they're not the same operation. However, we can change the problem just slightly enough. Instead of just doing plus 3, I'm going to say, okay, that's not the same. But 12 plus 
negative three. So whenever you change that, you're changing the minus to a positive, to be positive, right? So whatever you change, you got to change that, like another uh, negative or minus with it. When you're changing the minus, when you're changing the minus, you're changing it to a plus. But in order to do that, you have to make the second number negative. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you've got to do that. Here it's a little different story. I don't want you to confuse them and have the same case here. Here you do have two signs. It's a minus and negative. You are going to change that to a single plus. That's the difference. Stay with the two things that he showed you, the two examples at the beginning, where he's going to uh, one to two and two to one. That's, yeah, the, the, that's the key. That's what we're really, we're really going off of. I mean, we know that the fundamentals, they do work. Um, if you try to do it this way and just change one sign to one sign, you're going to get 9 and 15. That's not going to work. You have to get 9 and have the same thing when you're doing the addition rule. So it's it's got to be the same, otherwise this process doesn't work for you. Did that make sense to you back there? Kind of. Okay, good. And we'll practice a lot more, so keep with it. Okay, so we're changing this to plus and negative. We have now the same sign or different signs? Because we're back to we're back to addition rules, so let's get rolling on this stuff. Same sign or different signs, everybody? We're going to add or subtract. Yeah. Great and negative nine. nine. Look at little math robots. Negative nine. It's very cool. Now go wash my car. No. Extra credit? Sure, extra credit. I'll give you a million points right now. I got two cars. They both need washing. How big? <laughs> <laughs> Big and little. Yeah, the little one's easy. I got a son. He'll be. <laughs> I'll set him over. Sure. Yeah. Go ahead and sell your son. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. He's helping me with this. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give you several examples. I want you to work through these on your own. Remember, you're going to be changing every time you see a minus. You're changing it into a plus using these two cases. If you have a minus by itself. I hope you're listening. I hope you're not zoning out right now. If you have a minus by itself, you're changing it to plus and negative. If you have minus and negative, you're changing it to just a plus. Remember, one sign becomes two signs, or two signs become one sign. That's your key. So let's go ahead and, with that in mind, do these problems. I'll be walking around right now. If you need help, raise your hand. I will come help you. So we're working through. We're going to change any minuses using those two rules that we just found out. That's going to change it to addition. So I'm going to plus. Then we use addition. 